Um, yeah, very happy, I think. Um, yeah, obviously it was an unexpected situation for us to be down at half-time, um, but I think we just needed to be consistent with what we was doing and I think be a little bit more aggressive in the second half, in and around their box. And Yeah, I think we did that. And Yeah, the girls were always telling me to shoot and um, yeah, Pedder also told me to shoot, so yeah, I feel like the opportunity opened up for me and yeah, to score two is, is very unusual for me. Um, I don't normally score two in a season, so yeah, two in one game is um, amazing and yeah, very happy with it. Yeah, I think, yeah, in my professional career, it's definitely the first time it's ever happened. So, um, yeah, I was very surprised. wasn't sure how to celebrate after the second one, actually. Um, but, yeah, the, the girls have been amazing and always so supportive. And, yeah, always got my back. So, yeah, that was, was a really nice moment. Yeah, good. I think, obviously, the girls coming back from the Olympics, I think it's going to take a little bit of time to, to everyone get together again. But I think um, the way we've been playing and, um, yeah, we've been patient. We've, we've scored a lot of goals in the last two games. And I think... The quality in training is, is still unbelievable. So, um, yeah, I think we've all got a good feeling. We know it's going to be a long season as well. So it's not about arriving now, the finished product. It's not about playing at the, the weekend and being the best version of ourselves. You know, we've got to play so many games and we want to be arriving in the cup finals, the Champions League finals, and that's when we want our best performance. So, yeah, we're staying patient and, and we know what our end goals are with this team. Yeah, I think, obviously, it's my first quadruple and I, I want to do it again this season. Um, that's why I play for Barcelona is that we want to win trophies. But I think to me, the most important thing is that the way we want to play and the way we want to win, it's about playing good football at the same time. And yeah, that's why I signed for this for this club. And yeah, I think that the ambition is there for every single one of us to, to go and win another Champions League. And yeah, hopefully um, I can make it three. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy here. I think I've got a good relationship with all of the staff, all of the players. I think everyone's really supportive. Um, yeah, I mean... For me, it's a, it's a great place to be as a midfielder. I'm always learning, always improving. And um, I think with the new manager, he has a lot of confidence in me and he, he makes me feel confident when I'm playing. So, yeah, for me, I think I'm really happy here. And, yeah, we'll just see how the season goes and hopefully we can win more trophies together. I think there's always pressure playing for Barcelona. I think from my first game here to now, it's always been the same. But I think that's why they have the world's best players here. That's why we've got two Ballon d'Or winners in this team is that these players want to be here. We want to play under that pressure. And... We know it's a privilege to play for this team. Not everybody can play for Barcelona. So I think for us, we, we use it as motivation to go out there and play the best best games we can. And as I said, it's not about just winning here. It's about the style of football. And um, yeah, for us, we want the fans to watch us at home and enjoy watching us and, and feel a part of the team with us. So yeah, for us, we're going to try and continue to do that for, for the rest of the games this season. Yeah, really good. I think for me, he's an unbelievable coach. But I think more importantly, I think he's an unbelievable person. I think... Um, he really understands, you know, what it is to be a footballer. I think a lot of people kind of just see it on the pitch, but I think for me, he really understands people off it and he really tries to get to know everyone and, and how they're feeling. And yeah, I, th I think for me, that's that's massive. And um, yeah, on the pitch, I think, yeah, tactically is is unbelievable. Probably one of the, the best I've worked under. And for a midfielder, he has so many details in the press, how we play. And yeah, I think since I've been here, he's, he's the one who's probably made me feel the most comfortable. So I think to have him as head coach now, it, it fills me with a lot of confidence to go and play my best games in, in this season. Yeah, it's a, it's a really special moment for me, I think. Um, yeah, it's the first time I've been back since I've signed. And um, yeah, I think my grandma's come into the game, which is nice. She's not watched me play for the last three years. And I think she's excited as well. So I think, yeah, for me, it's a, a really big moment. But obviously, I know we've got a professional job to do. It's not going to be an easy game. We need to go there and play well. And I'm fully focused on that. But um, yeah, it'll be nice to see so many of my friends and, and family in the stands. Yeah, I felt bad because I think I've taken quite a lot of tickets for this game, which is unusual for me because normally I don't take that many. Um, but yeah, I took quite a few. And um, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of um, friends and family there. And obviously, I have um, some friends on the team. But I think once we cross that white line, then obviously it's total professional mode. But I think yeah, it'll be nice to know that I've got a lot of support in the stands and yeah, hopefully it'll be a good game. Yeah, definitely. They're a, a strong team. They've got um, really good players and I think, um, yeah, they also tried to play good football. They tried to play out from the back. They're patient and they've also got players who can change the moment of the game in an instant. You know, they can, they can really take the game too. So we need to be careful of that. But as I said, I think we want to go there. We want to play our style. We want to dominate possession. That's the Barca way. So, yeah, we will be looking at their strengths and we know it's going to be a tough test. But I think for us, we, we want to play good football as well. And hopefully it'll be a, a good game for the Barca fans to watch. Yeah, it's, it's really special. I think for me, that was like the one that I always wanted. I think it's the one that every player wants. And, you know, you're not, you're not guaranteed. I think obviously Barca challenge every single year. They've, they've been there for the last seven, eight years challenging, but it's not a guaranteed. So yeah, for me, I wanted to come somewhere where 
I could fit in the style of play and improve and still challenge for those trophies. And yeah, I think for me, I'm, I'm really lucky that I won two in two years. And I think last one was very special playing in Bilbao. I felt the love from the Barca fans. It felt like I was playing a, a home game here because we had so many Barca fans in the stands and my family were there as well. And I think to play against Lyon and to play the way we did and have such a strong game. And yeah, I think for um, yeah the goals we scored and how we played, it was it was such an amazing feeling. But yeah, it's not easy and it's not it's not expected to always get to those finals. But I think part of this club and the way we do it and how we work and the intensity is uh, yeah it's a special special place to be. I think I think we were all just so determined. I think because it was in Spain and it was against Lyon. Obviously, there's a lot of history there between the two clubs. And I remember walking out and seeing all of the Barca flags and all the Barca shirts and. I think for me, when we were on the bus, and it was just full of Barca fans on the bus to the stadium, and all the girls are so excited. And I think, yeah, I've never really been a part of a, a team that's had that support before. The streets were just full, and yeah, that the flares were going off and the smoke. Uh, yeah, it was just an incredible feeling, and I think it really makes you value playing for the shirt. And when you go out there, it yeah, you really fight for the badge. And, yeah, you could really feel that in the game, and it was a yeah, it was a really special special moment for everyone at the club. Yeah, definitely, and I think we, we want to arrive and we're motivated to win. But I think obviously for our fans, they're they're unbelievable fans, and they're always supporting us. And no matter where we play, what what final, they're always there in in big numbers. So yeah, hopefully we can we can do that together and arrive in in Lisbon. I think for me, it's obviously winning. Everyone thinks about the winning, but I think most importantly, I think it's the people. I think the girls, the staff, the they're such good people and I think from the moment I've been here I felt really comfortable in the change room. I think um, it's such a gr good group of girls and I think it, it's very rare that you have that in a team where everyone puts the team first and they really want to fight for this badge and, and, and play together and win and play the right way. And Yeah, I think for me coming into work every day and, and seeing the girls and how the feeling is on the training pitch, I think yeah, it's, it's really unique and, and really special and yeah, obviously winning the trophies but I think for me yeah, it's the people that, that make this club, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it's an, it's an unbelievable city. I think it's probably one of the best cities in the world. I think you've got the beach, you've got, yeah, you've got so much to do. Um, for me, I like to go for coffee pretty much every day. Um, I'm always asking Ingrid Frido for recommendations. I feel like they they always have the good ones. And um, yeah, now Ellie Roebuck signs, she also likes coffee. And it's something we always did in Manchester when we played together. So yeah, we tend to try and grab coffee or lunch um, every day. So that's nice. Yeah, I think obviously people say the weather because I'm from Manchester, it's very different. But um, I think for me, it's like the restaurants and there's a lot of like, if you're just walking around, there's so many things that you, you find and little restaurants, little shops that maybe you, would, you wouldn't you would see otherwise. I think it's just kind of exploring and finding new things. And there's always something going on in the city, which is, yeah, it's, it's nice. I think obviously because our, our seasons are so intense and we're coming into an intense period now, I think a lot of it is just focused on recovery and making sure you're ready for the next game. But yeah, when I have more time, yeah, I like to go into the city. I like to see what's going on, go to the beach. Um, yeah, when, when my dog's in Barcelona, I tend to take her for a walk, so that's nice. But yeah, I think it's quite a relaxed lifestyle here in Spain, so I kind of try and yeah, go over the flow and try and fit in with that, I would say. Yeah, no, and, and I think sometimes that's difficult. I think obviously having my family and friends at home and they have work commitments, so they only tend to come out for the, the bigger games. It is difficult, but yeah, especially now that Ellie's here, I think, we try and hang out a lot together and it's nice having, obviously Lucy was here, but having Ellie again and another English person on the team, it is nice. But I think the girls are all helpful in that, you know, Irene invites me around for dinner, Alexia, Torre, Caro, I think the girls really do try and include everyone. So yeah, it's nice to be a part of this team. <laughs> I'm looking at Xavi to try and help me. Yeah, I do. I think, I think more Spanish than Catalan, but um, yeah, I need to get some tips off Aitana, I think. Try and help we'll, me. We'll, we'll practice. Yeah, we'll practice. okay, we'll practice. <laughs>